Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnix, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God. It was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God. And finally, after the worship of many gods, they conceived the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is, For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. Welcome back, everyone. Peter McHugh is my guest this hour, and uh, Peter worked for many years as a clinical psychologist in the National Health Service in the United Kingdom. He presently lives in Scotland. His qualifications include a Ph.D. from the University of Glasgow, awarded for uh, theses based on research into the nature of hypnosis. His interest in physical research, uh, I'm sorry, psychical research, goes back decades. He believes that paranormal phenomena occur and that many UFO experiences are genuinely anomalous. He contends that if we want to obtain a comprehensive understanding of ourselves and the nature of reality, these phenomena cannot be ignored. The name of his book is Zones of Strangeness, an Examination of Paranormal and UFO Hotspots. Um, so, so in conclusion, Peter, you know, are are you optimistic that our understanding of these enigmatic phenomena is likely to improve greatly in the foreseeable future, or will they continue to be part of a pseudoscience? Well, I'm not optimistic. It's it's uh, it's perhaps a depressing thing to say, but um, I'm not optimistic that we'll we'll gain a very clear understanding of these things in the foreseeable future. I don't regard them as pseudoscience. I think they're actually, they're important phenomena, mm-hmm. very important, because they do suggest that our conventional models of reality, um, unless, uh, the, you know, unless they can adjust to take account of these phenomena, are incomplete. But I'm, I'm not sure that we'll, we'll g- gain an understanding. As I've said uh, before, I, I, I do wonder whether these phenomena are orchestrated by some sort of intelligence that um, is, is essentially producing a kind of paranormal theater. With, and the content of the paranormal theater can vary. It may be UFOs, it may be Bigfoot, it may be ghosts. Mm-hmm. Um, and these entities themselves may not have any permanent existence, but the, what, what we're being exposed to theatrical displays for some purpose or some reason that isn't clear now, if that's the case, it may be that this intelligence, which is running the show behind the scenes, isn't going to reveal itself any more than it has over the last 50 or 100 years. So it may be that, we, as I say, we're not going to, to have hard and fast answers. But throughout, the but, United, could... but throughout the United Kingdom, Peter, and correct me if I'm wrong, there are stories that go back centuries pertaining to ghosts and hauntings. Yes. So if this was just somebody or some other force that is manipulating us they've had three four hundred years of having their fun why by now don't we have a better idea as to who or what these forces are well one possibility is that uh this is conjecture of course is Mm -hmm. that these this these performances are intended to keep us on our toes Mm. to challenge complacency um so that if 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 the, we humans think that we've got a good grasp on reality and we have a, a rather narrow mechanistic materialistic mm-hmm. interpretation of the way, the way the universe works by producing phenomena now and again which don't really fit with that it may be saying look hang on you need to be thinking a bit more a bit like a, a kind of avuncular relative 
giving riddles to, the, to his grandson or, or nephew. Peter, um, you know what? We've run out of time for tonight. I'd love to have you back in the next week or so to talk more about this. It's a fascinating topic. You're a great guy. I, I love the way you think, the way you come across. And, and I just wish to heaven there were more people like you out there taking the 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 UFOs and, and the paranormal into an arena that makes sense. And you do a great job of that, Peter. Well, thank you very much. Peter, it's been my great pleasure. Peter McHugh has been our guest at Exo Nation. He's the author of Zones of Strangeness, an examination of paranormal and UFO hotspots. I'll be back on the other side of this break with the news. Don't go away.